He made a name for himself as the creator of the classic sitcom Everybody Loves Raymond and since has become a best-selling author while also garnering an audience as he travels the world forging connections through food, living by his golden rule to try everything at least once. Phil Rosenthal joins us now in studio to discuss his effort to encourage kids to do the same. We'll start with the book. This book co-authored by your 26-year-old daughter now. Yeah. It's called Just Try It. Yes. Um, why did you guys do this book together? My daughter texts me. She goes, you know, kids love the show and you're good with the kids. Why don't you do a kid's book? And I said, of course I would, if you do it with me. Mm. And so it's loosely based on our life. Uh, it's about a dad who... <laughs> Eats everything, and his little girl who won't try anything. Won't try anything. Yeah. And we were talking just before we started the interview that you said your wife did the same thing my wife did. Literally the same word. She used to say to the kids, a no thank you bite. Yes. It's genius, is it not? Take I a no thank so. you bite. Yes. This way the kid gets to assert their personhood and That's authority right. and identity by saying no thank you, That's but right. they're still getting the bite. They're still tasting it. Yeah. And I don't know if it's, I think 60% of the time in my household, they liked what they tasted. Most things are good. With your first book that went all the way to the New York Times, we then come to this book. Yeah. Why a children's book this time? Why, Why not? <laughs> well, that's, that's a great I, question, listen, too. Listen, just try it. I don't think it's just for kids. I meet a lot of grown-ups who don't want to try stuff. No, we just, and, just try it just means have a little bit of an open mind. And I always say if you can open a mouth, you can open a mind. The food and my stupid sense of humor is just to get you in to get you to travel because I think the world would be better if we all could experience a little bit of other people's experiences. Well, let's talk about it a little bit. Uh, Somebody Feed Phil, it's yes. called, just dropped on Netflix. Audiences are being taken all over the world by you, seeing new food. Let's, yeah. let's take a look. Oh. Uh, 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 porchetta. <laughs> you ready, Phil? <laughs> <laughs> Wowie, wow, wow. I'm not worthy. I think one of the best things about the, the, the season and the show is your excitement for food. It's just seeing your enthusiasm over whatever food you're trying, I think is infectious. Um, well, has that always been? No. My, my parents were not uh, chefs. They were not <laughs> even great cooks. I used to say, uh, in our house, meat was a punishment because it was kind of overdone and gray and, and not very good. It wasn't until I was in my 20s that I had a good piece of meat. And that's, the, see, I ask for mine well done. <laughs> yes, still? <laughs> still, yeah, I told you, still this book is for me. Phil, just right. try just it. Just try it, literally, yes. Phil, just yes. try it. <laughs> um, all right, so you've gone all over the place. I have. Seven seasons now. Yeah. I, I'm sure you get asked this question all the time. I'm going to ask it anyways. Do you yep. have a favorite? And yep. has anything jumped out uh, at you as something you didn't think you were going to like that you did? Oh, yeah. So Italy is my favorite, mm. maybe because it's one of the first places I ever went in my 20s. And uh, you ever go somewhere and you feel like you, it's awesome, but you also are comfortable? Italy remains the favorite because everywhere you look is spectacular. Every bite of food is delicious. And everybody's hugging and kissing you. So what's not to like? Surrounding the food. Yes, it's great. And every part of it is great. Uh, a thing I didn't think I would like, mm. I tried an ant Ooh. in Tokyo. They told me this ant tastes like lemon, and I did it. It took all the courage I could muster to bite down and say, damn, if it wasn't like a someone lemon. dropped a lemon on my tongue. So now I'm asking, well, did you baste these in lemon? What yeah. happened? These particular ants, not all ants, this one, in this part of the forest, in this part of Japan, these taste like lemon, which leads to the question, who found this out? Who tasted all the ants? So the first time, right. Why does found this the lemon like lemon? Yes. Amazing. Yes, would you amazing. do it again? Would you eat them again? I would eat that one again that if one again. I knew it was the... Now, am I going and looking on the menu, the first thing I'm looking for is bugs? No. Lemon ants? No. No. But, but you did. It, it. Was, it was surprisingly great. Phil, you just tried it. Exactly right. Motto to live by. That's it. You can stream all episodes of Somebody Feed Phil on Netflix and be sure to grab Just Try It, available March 5th, wherever books are sold. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.